jump straight into it tonight. This time, I remembered to put the bloody microphone on. Isn't that marvellous? So, what I'm just going to do is a little bit of a setup. Now, while they take long. Nearly there. Yep, there we go. Right. Let us continue and probably finish Broken Sword. Shadow of the Templars. The old lady reminded me of my grandmother, except, of course, that this old lady was still alive. Yeah, all right, George. She was as beautiful as ever, but the shadows beneath her eyes marked the strain of the last few days. It's a long way from um, France to Scotland, especially by surface. There's something I've been meaning to say to you, Nico. Is this the right time and place, Josh? There might not be another time. I don't want to waste this chance. You don't need to say anything. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. But here, with you. Oh. Now. Mon Dieu. You're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep? Sleep? At a time like this? Excited, huh? Would you like something to help you sleep, dearie? I've got some tablets in my bag. Oh, no. Thank you. Thanks all the same, ma'am. Hmm, <laughs> I don't trust you. I've still got the clown's nose. So I see. You should throw it away, George. Hmm. Pardon me. Come on, wake up. Yes, my dear. Do you know what time we're due in Stirling? A quarter to six, but we're running eight minutes late. Oh, I see, dearie. Do you know Stirling well? Yes, I do. Is that where you two lovebirds are bound? Yeah, we... It's one of the places we thought we'd stay on our holiday. Be sure to visit the castle, won't you? Oh, I'm sure it's a neat place. But we are not really interested in history, are we, George? Uh, no. I suppose espresso bars and boogie-woogie are more your cup of tea. That's right. There's nothing George enjoys more than a good boogie. Yeah, boogie-woogie. Indeed. Is there a church called St. Ninian's at Serling? Yes, there is. And I know why you're going there. You do? Of course I do. It's obvious you're in love. You're eloping, and they say romance is dead. Mm -hmm. What's the book you're reading? Oh, it's something I've picked up at the station. A medieval detective story. Quite well written for that kind of thing. Very topical. It's been out of print for years. What's the title of the book? The Crooked Crusader Caper by Molly Pegram. Pegram? Mm. I assumed the author was a woman, but apparently not. His real name is... Professor Nigel Pegram. That's right. Do you know him? No. Um, might have run into him in uh, Lochmar. She's a great fan of his, though. Well, why would you have a book by Professor Pegram? Why are you on a train to Stirling? And why can't I see your face? Hmm. I'm going to leave you there for now. Where are you going, George? Oh. Do I need to spell it out? 
Don't snap at me. If you're going to take a leak, why don't you say so? Okay, I'm going to take a leak. L E A K. Tickets, please. Oh, hi. You look very familiar. That's a standard full price peak return. Don't you have a senior citizen's rail card? I rarely travel by train. There's another clue. My ticket is perfectly valid, is it not? Well, yeah, but you could have saved up to a third of the cost. I do not need to indulge in puffling thriftiness. Blimey, you're a funny old bird and no mistake. Tickets, please, sir. Here. Off to Sterling, eh? Yes, we are. Well, I hope you won't be disappointed. It's a miserable place this time of year. Still, there's plenty of pubs and a lovely view from the castle. Lovely. Thank you. I don't want to worry you, but... There was something familiar about that guy. Mm. Are you sure? You're tired. Perhaps you're mistaken. Hmm. Maybe. But I didn't like the look in his eyes when he spoke to you. Yeah. Can't you sit still, Georges? No. I need to go to the John. While you're there, check out the buffet car, Georges. Unthinkable though it is. I am hungry enough to eat English food. Okay. That's too far, Nico. That's, that's too far. So what else have we got? It looks like we're in a Newcastle top. Door. That one's going to be locked as well. Oh, hello. Oh, no. That gangster creep from the hotel. Guido. Well, he didn't scare me. Hey, Buster. This is a no smoking car. Okay. Maybe he didn't scare me. Bad idea to go that way. What about in here? Ooh. Well, this compartment's not been cleaned in a while. Hmm. Don't touch the seats, George. Go on then, let's have a word with the old Geordies. Oh God, is that vomit? All I could see of the man's face was a massive purple bruise around his eye. It was a strange contrast with his flaming red hair, which stuck out in stiff, greasy tufts. Mm. The man's face was blotched and unshaven. I guess he'd been traveling all night. Red-rimmed eyes stared fish-like above his broken nose. Yeah, I've been there. In a place where the trains stop at midnight. And you've got to try and find somewhere to sleep until about six or seven in the morning. The windows seem to have been sprayed with tiny flecks of froth. Lovely. Hi, having a party? No, this is Brittus. Well, <laughs> join us, man. We're Basha, wake up, man. Oh, God. What's company? His breath was like the outlet from a chemical factory. Excuse me, mate, he's taking a nap. Sleeping like a bobby. I'll wake him up when we get to Newcastle. We passed through Newcastle <laughs> half an hour ago. And I never noticed. 
Yeah, there's a night of heavy drinking that's been going on here. Listen, I need your help. Was a mother? There's a guy on this train who's trying to kill me. Relax, man. You wouldn't try nothing with us in Basaria. We are veterans like so action at Breitling Sea. I don't recall the British Army being involved in a conflict at anywhere called Breitling Sea. Well, you just take it from me, pal. You're in safe hands. Hmm. It's a good job there's subtitles for people that aren't from the UK, because uh, understanding them, trying to have a conversation, I can certainly see you'd have a problem. Just going to retrieve. Ooh, bit of a weird noise. I'm going to retrieve my phone because that's been going off a little bit, so I'm just wondering what's going on. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a word about this. Have you got a pint of Nuki Brown there? What is that stuff you're drinking? It smells like gasoline. Hey, I'll put tears in your chest, Lake. And your eyeballs, too, by the looks of you. Hmm. Would you like my red nose? Would you like a red nose? No, thanks, pal. I got one of my own. Are you sure? Would you like a red nose? No, thanks. Ah, that's not going to work, is it? See you later. What about... Oh, he's going to be asleep, isn't he? I didn't want to wake him. To be frank, without a cold water hose, I didn't think I could wake him. You can give it a try. Um, we haven't found the toilet, have we? The door locked. Yeah. Oh, are they gone? I should have known better than to leave Nico and the old lady alone. Suddenly, the sword of Baphomet took second place to finding the girl I loved. Ooh. Well, I think there's a failure state coming up, so I'm going to save. Ooh, excuse me. Scotland Green, and that's uh, it's getting a wee bit hairy. Oh no, you can't put that in. Getting a wee bit hairy. Like. What the hell is that noise? Right. Sorry, back in a minute. Bloody cat. Right, let's try that again. Bloody carpet. Need a mat or something. Right, let's find Nicole Collard. Let's ask the Geordies. The Geordies always know. Hey, buddy. Ah, did you see a young lass come past here? Did you see what happened to the young woman in the next compartment? No, Paula, didn't have you lost her like? She's disappeared. The old lady, too. I think they're in trouble. Oh, we are, man, an old lady, too. Yeah, you gotta help me. Maybe they went to the toilet, like? I don't think so. They never go on their own. I was in pairs, you know. No, she's been abducted, I'm sure. I've got to go look for her. What's stopping you, pal? The conductor. He's not what he seems. You want to avoid him, like? That's about it, yeah. No problem. Mm. See you later. I didn't want to wake him, to be frank. I think now is the time... Don't do it, pal. Don't jump. I don't intend to jump. I'm going to climb on top of the train. You're kidding, aren't you? Just watch me. Go on, George. It's like Uncharted. Or Indiana Jones. Hold on now, pal. I'll give you a hand, Lake. He's put down his beer. It's serious business.
got to say, throughout this, um, the animation in this game is really good. I've got to wonder whether it was rotoscoped. Because they do look... Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> For fuck's sake! Oh. oh! I bloody believe that. Yeah. Now I've got to wonder whether it's rotoscope, because it's, it's very smooth. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hey, buddy. Did you know she's this cold? Yeah, maybe they yep, I yep, don't yep, 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 know. Yep, 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 Come on, George. Hold on. This time, we won't die. I wonder if I have to look at it first. It was the arm that fed electricity from the overhead cables to the train. I could almost smell the high tension. Save again there. Don't touch it, George. Ha. So we go this way instead. It's Khan. I always wanted to stop a train, and now it's my chance. Ah, crates to the rescue! You saved our lives, but why? We were always on the same side, stalwart, different causes, but a common enemy. The Knights Templar? Don't call them that. The real Templars were a noble foe. These barbarians. Some kind of neo Templars. These men are no better than dogs. What are the neo Templars after? Yeah. What is the source Thanks, of the Not what you think, my friend. It is a weapon, yes, but one which our enemies will find difficult to. Wield a double-edged sword, a power older than Dimole, older than Solomon. We'll stop them, you and me together, and Nico. No, George. My journey ends soon at the Garden of Paradise. Oh, no, don't go, Khan. Riddles. Can't you tell me straight what they're after? The sword symbolizes a colossal energy caused by the alignment of the Earth's natural power fields. Which are focused at St. Minnie's. The energy endowed the Templars with the power which made them great. A power which made them charismatic to such an extent they could control the will of all around them. So why did you try to Kill me. How did you escape from the bull's head? It is a long walk from the cliff of the bull to the village, Stobart. Fortunately, I know the ways of the wilderness. Also, I have a sister who keeps a garage just around the corner. That's anticlimactic. Um, do you want your nose back? Hmm, maybe not. No, okay. May Allah guide you to our enemies. Thanks. Oh, 
in cellar. Last. What? What is it? He's dead. He's dead. Oh. The guy was a professional killer. The last thing he deserved was sympathy. I had to admit it, though. I was sorry he'd ended up this way. Poor Khan. Underneath that heap of tumbled crates was Eklund. I wasn't about to help him out. Yeah, but do you have a gun? Underneath that heap. Oh no. Underneath. No, okay. It was a fire extinguisher. I couldn't think of a single way the extinguisher would be of use in the absence of a fire. I can think of a lot of ways, George. The head of the axe glinted invitingly. I could hack Eklund into tiny pieces and feed him to the wolves. Cool. Bloody hell, George, that got a bit dark. Don't even think about it, George. What? Who? Look me straight in the eye and tell me you weren't thinking of using that axe on Eklund. Don't be foolish, woman. I was going to use it on you. Whoa. Nico looked good. Even in ropes. Whoa. Nico looked good. Don't even think... What? Who? Look me... Don't be... F I was going to use... Right, what do we do now? Um... The rear exit was... What do we do? Do we just leave? <laughs> you gonna tell me off? Where do you think... Don't worry, I hadn't forgotten about you. Don't tell me this... I will. Ah, there we go. <laughs> no. You took advantage while my hands were tied. Necklin pointed that gun at me. I thought I was going to die. Did he I sneak a little kiss? I'd never get to do. And kissing you was at the top of my list. George. Uh -huh. George, we've got to get off the train. Eklund could recover at any time. So what are we waiting for? Yep. Let's bag her off. What are you doing? I'm out of here. Not that door. Do you want to end up like Flap? Not especially. What remains of him is well on his way back to London. I hope he was traveling on a return ticket. <laughs> Alright, we'll go up this way. Oh, very picturesque. Bit of a cemetery. There it is, the square tower. As foretold by the idol of Baphomet. I'd feel happier if we had a gun or something. Khan gave me something. What? His handbag. Mm. Oh, great. If we run into any killers, we can give him a good buffeting. Didn't he have any weapons? You don't know the half of it. This bag's full of C4. Wow, why didn't you say so? Boy, we'll show him now. What's C for? Plastic, George. Come on, George. We're going to shop our way to victory? Two kilos of plastic explosives. The detonator's broken, though. No problem. We'll buy a box of matches somewhere. It doesn't work. Oh, he got real sarcastic, did, he? did George? Explosion to stop the big explosion. Well, that's not much use, then. What does that sign say? Apparently, during the English Civil War in the mid-17th century, this place was used as an arms dump. Yeah? What happened? Look at the state of this place, George. You work it out. Boom. Oh, stray spark. You got it. The tower was the only thing to survive the blast. I hope the explosion didn't destroy the sword of Baphomet. Do you? I rather hope it did. Was just about recognizable as the church I'd seen reflected in the chalice. Templars, round heads, and cavaliers. This place has seen a lot of history. Mm. We'll look around before we go inside. Don't think we can actually. 
No. Right, in we go, George. We have here. Above the carved cross was an indecipherable inscription. For all I knew, it could have been scribed in Gaelic. Okay, and we got an ugly gargoyle grotesque thing. The stone face of the demon grinned with a horribly lifelike expression. It was so realistic, I could imagine the sculptor carving it from a live model. Hmm. The wheel had a serrated edge which meshed with the turning cog. Marks on the spindle behind the wheel suggested it once had a rope attached to it. We haven't got anything apart from a clown's nose, so we'll have to find something and maybe the rubble? It was a heap of stones and stuff which had tumbled down from the rafters. Mm. I scrabbled around in the rubble and found an old clay pipe with a broken stem. Oh, it's like mudlarking. The pipe could have been anything from 50 to several hundred years old. Under one of the stones, I found a metal coin which was green with age. National Weatherspoons Day? What? Um, hello, by the way. Um, is that true? It was an old coin. I've never heard of that. It was caked with soil, but what I'd found was a small cog and spindle. Ooh, so we're finding more bits of the machine. The cog was one of those objects I wished I hadn't carried in my pocket. With mounting excitement, I felt something between my fingers. It was short, hard, and black. Something I hadn't expected to find here. It was a plastic pen top. Great. It was a black plastic pen top. What are you going to do with that, George? See if Nico's got any ideas. Nico? Uh huh. Look what I found. Look what I found buried in the rubble. It's a plastic pen top. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Finding something so mundane in a place like this. Astounding. Let me know if you find any paper clips. Well, I certainly will. What do you think about this clay pipe? Nico, I found an old clay pipe. Josh, I don't care. <laughs> Look. I found an old coin. You think it's worth anything? Josh, focus on the situation at hand, please. All right, then, what do you mean? This thing. Any suggestions what I could do with this cog? Well. Yeah, I asked, um, I asked a manager once. I was working at Royal Mail at the time. And, um, I came along to him with a York full of post. And there was about five minutes to go until that had to be cut off and sent away. And I asked him where I could stick it. And he looked at me. I looked at him. And I said, yeah, I realise what I've said. I'm just going to leave it here. He said, yeah, it's best. What are you doing? Committing this inscription to memory. Can you read it? No. Oh. Why bother then? What's the point of studying the inscription if you can't read it? Because it could be important. A clue to whatever we're looking for, who knows? I might find someone in Stalin to translate it. We don't have time to go looking for a linguist. No, at least I am doing something positive. All right, calm down. What language is that inscription written in? You're the language student, you tell me. It looks like ancient Norse. Maybe. Perhaps it's in code. I don't think so. No code. Nico. I think this would have been better if we left you in Paris. 
I really do. Mm. The wheel turned reluctantly with a creak of complaint. There was no obvious way of removing the wheel from its housing. Hmm. All right, well, what about another wheel? Is that a no? What about a pen lid? What about a clay pipe? What about a coin? Bugger. Um that grinning that grinning face was beginning to unsettle my nerves. Well would the demon like a clay pipe? <laughs> With the clay pipe in his mouth, he looked happy, homely, like somebody's granddaddy. What do you think you're doing, Josh? I wondered if there was a secret mechanism in the demon's mouth. Maybe you should show a little more respect. For a mythical medieval demon? Give me a break. Exactly. Okay, go right ahead. Meddle with forces you don't understand. Incur the demon's wrath and burn in hell. Just see if I care. Whoa. God. She must have a long, really annoying train ride. That's not like you, Nico. What about the cog? The cog slipped neatly into the eye socket. Oh, okay. The cog turned freely, but nothing happened. Hmm. What about the pen lid? I pushed the pen top into the mouth, and it disappeared somewhere inside the statue. It had probably gone straight <laughs> to Byro Hell. We'll never get that back again, will we? Bloody hell. Um, there's nothing else buried in this pile, is there? I didn't find anything. Damn. Hmm. It was an old coin. The wheel turned reluctantly with a creak of complaint. There was no obvious way of removing the wheel from its housing. What do I do? The cog turned freely, but nothing happened. The co no. What about the coin? The co Have I buggered it up? I tried pushing the panel, but wasn't surprised when it failed to move. Above the carved cross was an indecipherable inscription. For all I knew, it could have been described in Gaelic. Oh, I've seen that before, okay. Um, what do I do here? Give him a clown nose. <laughs> Sometimes the most childish gestures can have a cathartic effect. <laughs> the transformation of the demon to a clown did just that for me. <laughs> what do we do now? The cog turned... Oh, I don't get it. What do I do? What do I do? The cog... Nico? Uh-huh. Look! Josh! No, there's no... Oh, I can't. Try that. No. I didn't find any... To go outside again. Hmm... 
Curious. I get the feeling that there's something either over here or back this way towards the train. There were lots of graves, some as recent as late Victorian. It looked like the locals had carried on using this place as a cemetery long after the destruction of the church. Hmm. Okay. I figured Scotland had had enough trouble with Burke and Hare without me trying my hand at grave robbing. Yeah, don't go digging anyone up, George. I don't think they'd appreciate it. The gate, like a lot of the church grounds, was in pretty good condition. I guess the locals tried to stop it getting too overgrown. Well, there's not much going on here, though, is there, George? What do I do, though? A large arch led into the tower. Huh. A large... Okay. But where do I go? There is nothing, is there? What am I missing? Put the coin in the mouth. No. Um... Coin on the door? No. I think I got stuck here the last time I played this. It's absolutely bloody obtuse. The wheel turned right. There was no. Because once you've put that thing into the demon's eye. The car. There's nothing else he can do there. Um, let's go a bit further to the left. Ooh, that pair the two with the left. Bloody hell. I've not even had much to drink. While I'm walking over there, I just want to verify that statement from earlier that someone said, um, National Weatherspoons Day. What? National Spoons Day. What the bloody hell is that? Cookies. I've got a... I don't want cookies, right. Let's, um... Yes, for just one precious day you'll get money off any food and drink you buy in Britain's favourite pub chain. Okay, but that says the 20th. So maybe tomorrow... No way we're... Maybe tomorrow you can go and get some money off Weatherspoons. I mean, the price is quite reasonable anyway. You know, I've gone in there a couple of times when you've, um, when I've needed somewhere to go in a strange city. What the bloody hell do I do? I'm at a complete loss here. There must be something 
to do with this coin. Excuse me. It's usually some kind of pickup icon. Nico? Uh huh. I tried. No. I tried. No. Nico? Uh huh. The cog. The cog. The co Aren't you supposed to move the pipe? The cog. The handle turn. Whoa, where did that come from? Damn. Then the handle came off in my hand. All right. Now I know what to do. No, I don't. Or maybe I do. No. Bugger. Well, I know I've got to get that wheel off somehow. The wheel turned... There was no... Now that the handle was gone, it was easy ah. to remove the cog and spindle. Now we've got another one. With a rasp of metal on stone, I eased the second eye into place. I think before we go in here, I'm going to save as spindly, turny, gremlin thing. I pushed the handle into the demon's mouth. Et voilà. The cogs all meshed. I began to turn. Stick that in your sarcasm, Nico. Nico? Uh huh. Hmm. Maybe not. Okay. I think she's lost interest. As soon as I saw the flickering torches, I realized the bogus Templars had beaten us to the sword. But where were they now? And why was it so quiet? Hmm. The torch burned with a sickly dim glow and a stench like Fire and brimstone. Nico? Uh huh. It looks like the Templars got here first. We might not be too late. There's still a chance. I wish I had your optimism. So do I, Georges. <laughs> Sometimes you're so negative. Yeah, but you can't really blame him with your bloody sarcasm, Nico. It was definitely gunpowder but it had solidified over the centuries it had lain here undisturbed. Does that happen? I'm not familiar with gunpowder, so I wouldn't be able to say. Now, I think the moment we go through here, that's kind of endgame territory. So... Et maintenant, to business. Here we go. Listen, I can definitely hear chanting. You're right. I hear it too. 
What do you suppose they're doing? It wouldn't surprise me if they were holding some kind of satanic sex ritual. So, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Shh. George. Ooh, you kinky bastard. I'm just going to get rid of myself for this cutscene. Will you look at that? Baphomet. Labano was right. This place was ancient even to the Templars. This whole place? This is Baphomet? Finally, the truth. The Templars had never worshipped this graven image. No more than they'd worship a rainbow. But, like a rainbow, they regarded it as a symbol of a covenant with God who'd revealed this place to them. Russo, why the devil dealing treacherous? On the contrary, Inspector Rosso has been the model of obedience, an important quality in a true Templar. Now be quiet and watch if you wish to live much longer. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to witness the reforging of the sword that was broken. Here before God's sentinel, Baphomet. Grandmaster and knight of Baphomet, we salute and pledge our obedience to you. I salute you, gatekeeper of the temple. Seven centuries ago, our greatest weapon, the sword of Baphomet, was lost to us. Now we prepare to reforge it, to wield against new enemies. As the tired millennium dies, and this world looks for new leaders, we shall not We shall lead the people to a new order, wherein all borders will dissolve. All will be united under the Red Cross of the Templars. George, we have watched your efforts to stop us with respect. But surely you realize that you have been misled by our enemies. Both of us want a better world. Fortunately, no harm has been done. We need determined, resourceful men like Join us, George. Join us in the true brotherhood. Yeah. True? Wait. Brothers? 
What about Marquet? What about Pegram and Klausner? You didn't look on them as brothers, only as failures. Three men dead, and you don't give a damn. George, you know that sacrifices are necessary. Every great undertaking. Join you. I'll see you in hell first. Oh, George, I had great hopes for you. C'est la guerre. Eklund. Kill him. The great detective and his a lot of revelations there. Assistant. It's going to be a pleasure killing the pair of you. Josh, what are we going to do? I know what we're going to do. Come on, Nico, we're leaving. Cannot escape us. Guido! Stop it. But Master, the powder! That's Claudian. He's a from the English Civil War. He sold 300 years old. A handbag full of plastic explosives. Maybe, but this stuff is brand new. Oh. Ooh. You know, you'll never be able to write your story now. I don't care. I've got what I want. Huh? Just tell me one thing, Georges. Is our life together always going to be this crazy? Ooh, George, you saucy bastard. Well, there you go, that was Broken Sword. Broken Sword, Baphomet's Flush, Circle of Blood. Oh, skip the um, the credits there. Sorry about that. Yeah, it was um, it was good to go back to it. I just wish I'd remembered more of the puzzle solutions other than having to try and just randomly rub things on other things in order to actually get somewhere. But overall, that's... Yeah, so it's one of the iconic um, point-and-click games, I think. Um, I mean, it's only taken about an hour. Not really sure what I'm going to do after this. Hmm...
Let us go to this screen for now. While I figure out what to do. Put a little intermission music. Now, what can I do? I really don't know. Um, tell you what, I'm going to leave it on a break, and when I get back, hope you'll have thought of something. So, uh, see you in about 10 minutes.
Okay, let's change a few bits of information. Should suffice. Um, does that change it on there? Let's have a look. Manage. Edit, that's the one. There we go. Right. Let's see if this works properly. Bloody well, I hope so. Yeah, I got this on um, on my Switch because I've not ever played Castlevania before, and this seemed like an easy way to get in. I tell a lie. I've played Symphony of the Night, and I've never played the original ones. So uh, yeah, got quite a choice here. I didn't even know they came out on Game Boy. And that looks... Oh yeah, Famicom, okay. So, let's kick it off with the original. Sounds okay. In fact, I'm just going to see if I can test it. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, shit. Um, Symphony of the Night. The hearts were... The weapons? Yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, okay. So it freezes time. Ooh. And these will drop more hearts. Oh, 
that just activates the thing. Oh, hello, what have we got? Holy water. Shit. What's that? Don't know. Oh, keep changing weapons. Oh! Oh, bloody hell. You go... Oh, yeah. Not bad, okay. Oh, shit, I didn't see him. enemies could just approach me very slowly from the right of the screen. Oh. That would be great. Oh, it's like a smart bomb from, um, like a shoot -em up Gotcha. Fishmen. No. Oh, what? Do I want that again? Didn't really do much, did it? Ow. This is not going well. That thing lost. Real worth it. That was alright. Oh, what's that? Got a two. Is that better? Only one trajectory, isn't there? Um, I might have ballsed up there. Oh, big. What's that? Oh, the microwave's done. Didn't even see the time. That's a good job. Stage one complete. Not bad. So there's what? Five, maybe six different areas? What's this? Ah, okay. Boomerang. Frost thing. Is that what the Pope's special forces use? Bad soundtrack, aren't it? None that I recognise so far, but. Two. 
still don't know what it means. shall see. Ooh. Ow. What the bloody hell is that? Oh, I don't want daggers. They're the least interesting of these weapons. Oh, we've got a three. Does. I'll keep it though. Oh. Touch. Wow. Fuck. So after that, you get absolutely hammered. I've got nothing left now. I've lost my three. I don't even know what it was. So if you get hit, you get knocked back. on those jumping whip thingies. What the hell is that? Oh! Fuck! Well, that seems to... Hang on. What the hell are those? 
There are little leprechaun men. those stairs. Get out of here. Bloody skeletons. with no weapons. This isn't going to work, is it? Oh, oh lucky. Oh! Out. No. Oh, it disappeared. I need everything from here. Are you gonna? No, 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 no. What the bloody hell? My... Can I... Oh, that's what... That works. This... That missed. Ow. No, no, no. If only I hadn't lost all of the stuff I'd got. Oh. I bet if I had that, um, that holy water. I wonder if that stops them. Oh, my God. 
Oh, I think the other skeleton got vaporised. Suits me. No. No. That was a mistake. God, no wonder that Tom Cruise movie failed. I can't help but feel the weapon that's going to help here, but I haven't got it. Dicey. Very dicey, very spicy. Fish man. Ooh. Oh, got a holy water again. Quite like the holy water. Yeah. No. Keep your head down. is this? Oh. 
should have done with that earlier, but whatever. Um... Oh, there's another one. Shit. Shit, shit! Ooh! What the? How are you supposed to? Oh no! No! What? Oh! Okay, that's got to be on a time thing because that was not luck. snake. Got the flicker. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, that's it. Oh no, okay, I can continue from here. I think if I get the holy water... Then I might stand a chance. What's that? Oh, it's invincibility, okay. nowhere to jump up to. So I couldn't get pushed back. Now I've got to try and avoid picking up that axe. Again. That's not happening without the 
This is so much harder when you die. It's Skip you. No. Come on, drop me something. Oh, we got a two. The big whip. I don't really know what that does, but thank you very much. Well, a bigger whip. Ow. Ow. Dagger. I don't really use these too much, do I? Another two. Okay. No idea. Ow! Bloody bone snakes! Oh, I'm never gonna make it now. Can you drop me some food? Nearly got him. So it looks like the the little jumpy man is just a distraction. I don't know why I'm using these daggers. I don't think they do any more damage. Um, how 
how am I gonna... Because this is just pure luck now, I think. I'm missing something big. Little two. Still don't know what he does. Ooh, that's going low. No, no, no! Oh, damn it! What do I do there? Oh. Well, I've got 20 minutes left, so I've got plenty of time to try. Ooh, a bit of lag. You do sometimes forget that in the kind of 8-bit and 16-bit era that games just sometimes lag. You know, sprite limits and all that. <laughs> I'm fall in the water. I'm losing it now. Fish man. Is it the full whip? Yeah. Right, now I'm going to try and get across here without losing those holy waters. Ultimate focus. Okay, that's the axe. I don't want that. Get him, get him, get him! Shit! Take it slow, take it slow. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Good a time as any. Is that still the dagger? Yeah. Don't want that. No. Nah. Get away from me, bone snake. Burn. I said burn. It does seem to stop him. So maybe that's the key to stopping him from moving. I got two out of it. I don't know what the two does, but fair enough. Let's get some steak or meat or whatever that is. Oh, I didn't stop him. Was that a three? Just stop him from there. It must have to hit him in the head. Okay. Oh, 
Go! Oh, no, 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 no. No. I did it. life. Ooh, second to last stage. Ooh, no, 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 no. Not enough of those bloody things. Oh, I missed the parts. It's a bit bright for a second to last stage. No, no. Sprite flicker makes it really hard to see where you are sometimes, especially if you've been here. Oh, bloody hell, what the... Oh, that did work. Okay, yep. Not dead end. Or maybe... no? I wonder if this is going to be useful, that um, holy water on this stage. Doing work so far. Oh, what are you? You don't die, do you? Ah! Bloody leprechaun man. I'll have to look at the name of those things. some kind of strategy with the dagger, but I don't... I'm not aware of it. Oh, I can't get there. No. Doing alright so far. But what the hell are you? Shit. Where have I gone? Oh, he died. through axes. He didn't want to come closer, do he? Ah, it's got him. Alright, okay. Easily baited. Axe. No. Don't think I want the axe just yet. I might change my mind. You never know. I have no idea what that bloody three does. Stay down. Anticlimactic. seem too bad to kill, it's just you have to be careful of those axes. Alright. 
danger dealer on health. I'm not, not, not sure what I'm gonna do here. Got it bounced. Is that his shield? Whoa, 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 what the? The fucking what? What are you supposed to do there? bad so far. I've heard it was supposed to be quite hard, but it's methodical. You've got to be careful. But I'm not seeing much that's unfair. Ooh, two. Don't know what it is, but I'll have it. Heads back. Ow. Let's try and rush him down. Ow. Ow. There's so many enemies. Don't need the meat, so you can leave it. You can keep it. You need some meat on your bones. Ow. Ow. Oh, this is horrendous. I've got no more hearts. I can't do anything. Bloody hell. Ow. Ow. I think I might have to plan this a bit better, because I'm not really sure I've got the right weapons for this. Ow! Yeah, get shit on the skeleton. again. I don't know what it is, but... Does it make your weapons more powerful, or...? Ow. Right, sod it. No. 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 Ah. I'm back here now. Oops. 
shit. Definitely see it's possible, but I just don't know what kind of things I need in order to get there. There must be a weapon that's good against this particular area. Ow. No, no, no. Oh shit. Maybe the watch. Oh, I'm not it now. He says and immediately loses it. to be pretty good against the knights. Because it just burns them to death. Oh, I've got a two again. Should have to lure them in, though. And when those head things are flying around, I don't know how it's going to work. Oh, I got a three. Is there a four? I have no idea. Say a good heart these days is hard to find. Whoa! Steady on there. Oh, shit. This is brutal. Let's Etruscan vase. I'm 
going to try and keep the holy water. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, he says, and he just loses it straight away. Oh my god. Never gonna work. How are you supposed to do this? see why it's... Now I see why people say it's hard. Ow. supposed to do here. Oh, come on. <laughs> There's like a giant pot of gold at the end of this hallway or something. Oh. Balls. Oh, I killed him. Oh, there's another one. this time. I didn't think he was supposed to wake up yet. Well, that's going to make things much harder. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, we've got a two again. Way at the end. Oh, that was evil. Oh, bugger off. I think I need a bit of practice on that, so uh, I'm going to call it for tonight because that's been two hours and that's my lot. So, uh, yeah, broken sword, done and dusted. 
might start um is it the smoking mirror the second one might do that the next time that's potentially either friday or saturday so if you want to come along for that and find out what george does after the templars then be my guest but until then have a good one